This is one of the most common questions I get asked. Can concrete or metal rods really stop a battle tank? The short answer is no, but it depends on what kind of tank and how it's moving. When it comes to stopping a tank with concrete, it's all about the mix. The concrete used for this barrier was specifically designed to stop a 120-ton tank traveling at 32 kilometers per hour. The metal rods you see are called rebar, and they're typically used in concrete to reinforce it and give it tensile strength. But here's the thing. The rebar isn't doing much on its own. It's the concrete that's doing all the work. Now, if you were to hit this barrier head-on with a tank, you'd probably just break the concrete and send the rebar flying. But if you were to hit it at an angle, the tank would have a much harder time getting over it. In the end, it all comes down to this, the angle of attack. If you're coming in too shallow, you'll get stuck. But if you're coming in too steep, you'll just bounce off. So can concrete stop a tank? Yes, but it has to be done right. Now you know. Hit the like button for more fun tank facts every day.